Hi everybody, it's Cheryl, Crafty Mama 05. I'm here to show you a mini album I just barely completed um, for Maggie over at Mini Album Scraps. Uh, Maggie, so if you don't want to see this and want it to be a surprise when you receive it next week, then look away. <laughs> Okay, so our partners had to choose their colors that they wanted us to use, and Maggie wanted brown, cream, white, and lilac. So here's the cover. I used some flowers that I had found at a tag sale, plus some I got from Michael's in the wedding section. That's where I got the little purple flowers. I used the Recollections Lace and Bling, and there's some shiny ribbon back there that you could see. Um, peeking out and I made those stick pins for her with some uh, cream and brown pearls and some cream and white beads glass beads that I had and I left the label blank so she could fill it in whichever way she'd like and this is a paper bag album so it's all built the same every page is built the same but um, the decorations, of course, are different, or embellishments. I left the inside cover blank so she could put a picture or whatever she'd like there. Uh, this page, there's half-back pearls, more of those flowers, um, a little spray sticking out here, and there's some tags sticking out. I believe Heather gave me these tags. I love them. If it wasn't Heather, I apologize. Um, here's a little tag that I made. It opens up so she could put something inside. And every one of them also has a tag in the end. There's this one. And the other side flips up, but there's, before I flip it up, there's what's on the cover of this one. There's two little envelopes with tags inside. You can hide things there in a little half, I call them moon pearls, they're so pretty. And a stick pin that I made for her there. And then you open it up. And there's a place for her to to put a picture. I put it kind of on an angle to give it a little bit of interest. And here is another tag. Um, this is one of those all-around punches that I got. It's just all in one piece. You do the corner and the um, middle with the same tag, depending on which one you press down. That's what you get. And here's another page. Um, this flower was made for me, and I apologize. Um, I'm rushing to get this out the door because, as usual, I'm last minute. Well, I shouldn't say as usual. I mean, just about anything. I just seem to push it to the end. But these are due to go out by tomorrow, and I'd like to get this out today since it's Saturday, and it's, the post office, of course, is closing early. But there's another stick pin I made. Here's another... Um, tag and of course these tags can go either in here or in here um, more half back pearls and these are some buttons that were given to me um, in a Christmas swap with Natasha and here is the tag for this one this one um, there's slice to pop right open, I guess. And here we go with, oh, this is a Recollections paper stack. Um, I tried to stay true to that stack and then got some of the Recollections card stock to go with it. Um, that's a penny farthing, I believe it's called. I like it with the, the pretty plant right there. Um, some ribbon and some roses, cream and white. And it opens up again. There's a place for pictures. And this is a tag in itself but it also has a place to put in little treasures. And here's another page. It has a chandelier, which I had used to, I had stickled up a little bit. Put some bling on there because, you know, chandeliers do have bling. And there's some brown lace. And, and of course the tag has a little chandelier as well. And there's some more of that glittery, um, brown ribbon on top of some lavender ribbon. And here is the tag for that one. This one, Maggie, you might have to loosen it up a little bit. I might have put this too tight. This one doesn't like to lay flat. I think it's because it's towards the back. But here's some more of that music note paper with the plant on it. Some more flowers with one of those, a cream color moon type pearl in the middle. And again, there's the penny farthing, and here's a tag that you can write on, put in there, and some pretty lace. 
Okay, and then here's the other page with some more flowers and some halfback pearls and one of those pretty moon pearls in white. And I made tack the ribbon down so it's a little swirly there. Give it some interest. Some more of the brown lace. And this tag I put some ribbon and and I made a little charm for that with uh, some of the brown glass beads that I've had. And here is the tag for that one. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy with all this in and out. Okay, and here's another page. These are loose so she can put a uh, picture behind there. I used a doily for that. And there's some more roses and flowers and half back pearls. And here's the back page. Um, this is the back page. And there's, of course there's more tags. And this tag also has a chandelier on it. And this paper, I think there was only one in the whole stack that had the dress form on it with a gear. Um, and I liked that one. It's attached to the back cover. And here's the back, the last tag. I used an embossing folder from Stampin' Up! for this one. In cream and bordered in black and purple. And then there's the back. So, okay, so Maggie, there you go. So, if, I hope um, that you're going to like your mini album. I know I love the one you sent me, even though I haven't replied to you yet. I haven't been, I've been reading my emails and whatnot, but I haven't been really replying as of late. I've been pretty busy on the weekends and weeknights. I've just gone back to work full time the past few weeks and I am exhausted. But I try to keep up with all you girls, even though I don't comment. I apologize for that. But I do love to watch your videos and read your emails. And um, I guess I better hurry and go and get this in the mail so Maggie can get it on time. And we'll talk to you all later. And have a great day.